I, I, I feel, I know that I'm in love with this girl and I hope that she's in love with me, but we still had to sit down on the sofa and I still, you know, I still had to have some pretty, you know, frank conversations with her to say, look, you know, what you're letting yourself in for is, mm -hmm. it is, it's, it's a big, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. Life about to change in big ways for Meghan Markle as she prepares to tie the knot with Prince Harry in May. Her first big hurdle may be tackling the pomp and circumstance of a royal wedding. Joining me, celebrity wedding planner David Tutera, who you likely recognize from the show Celebrations. He has pulled off big events, to put it mildly, for A-listers like J-Lo and Matthew McConaughey. You also helped Prince Charles plan an event in California. But this is a royal wedding. How does the royal wedding compare to a celebrity wedding? You know, it's a very, very big difference. And thank you for having me on. I mean, the astronomical amount of eyes that are watching this and the attention to detail, we have to think about the security. We have to think about um, what's released and what's not released. And this is a, a wedding, the difference between a wedding in the UK and here in America is that this is a wedding that the entire country uh, uh, pays attention to. And I mean the country, the world actually pays attention to. So. We want to know exactly what she wants to do, exactly what he's going to be looking for. And I'm excited to hear and find out all about it. And I can certainly share with you my thoughts on it. Well, I'd love to hear them. Lay them on me. <laughs> well, you know, it, there's so many details in a royal wedding. And as I know your previous guest was talking about how weddings in the UK are earlier in the day, which is true among, amongst the difference between here, they're typically in the evening in the States. But the difference being for a royal wedding, uh, the attention to formality, the execution mm. of detail um, is much more precise than it is here in the States. And I, I am actually a big fan of what, what, what they do in London. And I, I, I love the fact that they look at the traditions, the culture, the history, what needs to be done. The pomp and circumstances is so remarkable. We've kind of lost that tradition here in, in America. And um, if we pay attention to what's going to happen in May, uh, I think I'd like to see that trend come forward to us in the States. Did we see some of, some more of that trend come back after the last royal wedding a few years ago? We did a little bit, and I'll tell you where. Uh, with with uh, Princess Kate, we saw the attention focused on her lace dress. Mm -hmm. And I think we saw so many replications of that. But in the formalities, we did not. Um, people do things much looser here. There's a lot less attention to the details. And um, I, again, I'd like to go on the record and say, I, I think we should look at one of these days as being the most important day of anyone's life who's getting married, um, to pay attention to all of these unique moments, the walk down the aisle, the processional, okay. the recessional. I mean, the royal family, when it comes to processionals and recessionals, which is the walk down the aisle and the return as it's decreased mm -hmm. in the ceremony is over, we, we don't pay that much attention to that anymore here. And I think it's a beautiful moment. Um, and this will be a smaller wedding, I do think. Right, yes. from what we've heard, they, they'd like to they'd like to incorporate the public as much as they can. Listen, the public's so, gonna wanna know every little detail, not just what they're eating, but what kind of china they're dining on. And, and, and a lot of times in this country, when we talk about a wedding, we talk about the astronomical costs involved with anybody's wedding these days. But if you're a celebrity, if you're royalty, that shoots through the roof. And we're not just talking about security. No, we're not talking about security. We're talking about obviously fashion first could be incredibly expensive depending on who the designer is. Uh, being a couture gown can cost tens of thousands if sometimes not $100,000 or more for a dress depending on the details of the gown. Now think about the veil. The veil can be very costly and all the accessories from jewels to shoes. Um, you're also looking at the flowers. You're looking at the menu, the place settings, the formality of the way the room is designed, the space is incorporating what the bride and, and groom want. And, and we're looking at, you know, an, an American uh, soon to be princess stepping into a new world for her. So we may see for the first time two different cultures combining yeah. and creating perhaps a new look, a new concept to a royal wedding. We'll be watching for it, uh, although I doubt there will be a buffet like there was at my wedding. <laughs> David, appreciate it. Thank you. You're so welcome.